Hey everybody, I'm from Nostalgic here. I'm really excited about this video because today we're going to be taking a copy of Mario 64 and doing a complete makeover on it. Yeah, so recently we got in this copy of Mario 64 and fair warning, if you're squeamish, I would pause the video and skip ahead the next couple seconds. We have this absolutely destroyed copy of Mario 64, but it still works. And this is not normally the type of thing we'd want to put on the shelves out for sale at Nostalgic, so we figured why not make a custom piece out of it that works and save the guts, but make it look good. And we're going to go full custom with this. We're not trying to fool people into thinking that we're going to make a 100% authentic copy again. Like something like this, which also came in recently. This completely fake copy of Pokemon Stadium 2, which, to know, if you're into retro collecting and cartridge stuff, you could spot this a mile away that it's fake. And there's a lot of stuff floating around like this on eBay where people were making fake cartridges with the express purpose of tricking you into thinking you're getting a good deal on a relatively more pricier game. And if you do that, there's a special place in gamer hell for you, my friend. So we're not going to do that today. We're going to replace the cartridge and the label and everything, but it's going to be completely 100% custom. Then we figured while we got both of these here, that it would be a good learning opportunity to show you what a fake looks like on the inside. So if you see something online and they don't show the insides, that's always usually a good guarantee that the cartridge itself is going to be completely fake. So yeah, let's crack both of these babies open and see how it looks like inside. So yeah, the inside of this cartridge is 100% shnasty, just as much as the uh, outside was. But we're going to take it and we're going to clean it up, but here is an authentic Mario 64 board. Um, you can see right there it says Nintendo along the top, whereas our fake cartridge, you can just tell even without opening up the cartridge, you can tell along the bottom where the contacts are, just the different coloring of it. And then on here it doesn't say Nintendo anywhere, the board, different shade of green all around, and it, it just feels newer, which is a giveaway entirely. So yeah, that's, um, you know, not too in-depth or anything, but, uh, if there are pictures and you see something more like this instead of this, especially looking for that Nintendo branding on the board itself, then it's definitely a fake and you shouldn't buy it. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna clean this up and we're using the original cage as well. I figured I wanna try and use as much of it that we possibly could for this. So typically when cleaning these types of things, we use just 91% rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip. This is good to do to your games just in general anyway. Get everything all cleaned up. Yeah, you can see how much of that gunk's just coming off of there. When we typically do this, not completely taking it apart, but anything that we go to put out in the cases at Nostalgic, we give them a nice little cleaning like this. And we just actually released a video on how you can do this yourself with all the general cleaning of what we like to do with cartridge-based games over at the store. So if you're interested, check that out. And some of this is just really caked on, so it's probably gonna take a few passes through to get everything looking really good and i'm very glad that q-tips come in bundles of 600 because we go through them like crazy I need to soak this in like alcohol overnight yeah is that thing even salvageable do you want to just use one of the other ones yeah what is it a specific like I don't know, because usually if it's like spilt Coke or Pepsi, usually if it's like spilt soft drink, it looks like this, but it'll come up relatively easy. I think this is where this is just rusted. So yeah, unfortunately, I tried my best cleaning this up, and it wasn't really salvageable. It's too stained. So yeah, we're going to go with the cage that came with the Repro cartridge that I ordered. Um, it's unfortunate because I wanted to try and keep as much of this as original as possible, but looking like this, I just really don't feel comfortable using it. So, we're going to use the other one. I ordered a cartridge, and then we had a cartridge to a dysfunctional game that we wanted to go with a two-tone color, a nice red and blue reminiscent of the Mario-style Wii Remote that Nintendo released. I thought it was just a really cool color combination of that red and blue. So, we're going to take this blue back of the cartridge all right so yeah we have the original tab there i think this is gonna look really cool once it's done i'm excited
Dang it. Fell oh, off. Wow. Yeah, N64 cartridges are a complete hassle to take apart and put back. Oh, especially because, you know, I got it in backwards. Redo. I'm still waking up. How many Mountain Dews have you already had? Two. Is that not awake enough for you? No. How many is awake, Adam? Six. Gee, we've been joking. All right, so we got the that end there. So we got that original board in there. So we got that original board in the new housing, and then we're gonna pop this on. All right, so yeah, well now we have this really nice blue-red cartridge. And then the final piece, I got this holographic front label. We'll put the links to both Etsy stores where we got the cartridge and the label from. If you wanted to do something like this yourself, you find a game that looks like trash and you want to restore and bring back to life. Don't screw it up. Shut up. Look at that. Yahoo! And there you have it. I don't know if we'll actually put this out for sale or not. I like it a lot. I might keep it for myself. And with that, it's done. So let's go pop it in a system and check it out. I just wanted to go throw a penguin off a cliff. We get a lot of terrible looking games in that we don't feel comfortable putting out for sale. And if we could do this with a lot of them and make these custom functioning quasi art pieces out of them. What's a game you'd like to see us customize? Let us know down in the comments. And there's one more thing I wanted to do with this. So stay tuned for part two because we're going to go full blown all out with this thing. 
make it just an extravagant piece so stay tuned for that and none of this would be possible without our store nostalgic video games located in florence kentucky probably the biggest selection of games in the tri-state area and just a place that we love working at and bringing games to you all and talking games with everything thanks for tuning in nostalgic network and until next time have a good one